Okay, so right now we are right at the jungle temple that we call Taprom. Taprom. T A P O H. T O H M. So this temple was constructed in 1186 mm -hmm. at the end of the 12th yeah. century by a last great king, Jaya Varman the Seventh. Mm -hmm. So he built this temple, was dedicated to his mother, and in the concept of the Buddhist village. Mm -hmm. The originally this temple was still named Raya Vihara, which means the yeah. Raya Monastery. Mm -hmm. So this temple is uh, the one among very impressive temple in the Angkor area. Everyone has around this temple, they feel so amazed and mysterious. Yeah. Because this temple has it as special by its natural fate of the jungle taking over all these building structures. You know, we have to notice that the King Jaya Varman the Seven began to construct this temple immediately when he just finished his first temple for his teacher of Bhante Kadai. Mm -hmm. within five years time because the king had a plan to build more temple in his period so this this temple decided not to restore and not chopping the big tree by the french conservation department this opinion is supported all the visitors they are about to see and know the site like seen four to five hundred years and also it gave the idea to the, all the visitors to appreciate and of the restoration had been done after they saw this temple has ruined state. So this temp you know, this temple, you know, according to the inscription which they have found at original place, telling us about the properties of the temple and the people who had remained in this temple, including the villagers who offer supply ceremonies near the annual festival as well. You know, according to the inscription, this temple used to own by a 500 kilogram of golden bowls, 500 kilograms of silver bowl as well. There were 36 pieces of diamond, 36 pieces of sapphire, 36 pieces of rubies, 44.335 pieces of pearls. What is 36? Uh, is this a magical uh, rubies, number? Yeah, magic. No, is this, is you know, the like, Buddhism, a, like the Buddhist, Buddhism, you know, oh, like okay. the 37, 36 heavens, heaven. Yeah. And there was two, so, sorry, uh, 4,500 pieces of all kinds of the precious stone, 512 silver, you know, like tablecloths, 523 parcels, and there were 876 wheels from China, so on. And also this temple used to own by 3,100 villages. There were 79.337 people who serving the religious affair in this temple. Among those people, there were 18 high priests, 2,740 official monks, 2,202 temple assistants, and there were 615 dancers in this, in this temple. What inscription has mentioned that? You know, this temple must an important temple that there were 260 Buddha statues. Some made in gold, some made in bronze, some made in wood, some made in stone. But all those, you know, Buddha statues are gone by the looters. Yes. So it is only this temple in this group that the people, you know, still keep the tree, you know, grow over all these building structures. You look in that tree that we call Spong, spells with S-P-U-N-G, in English means cotton or silk tree. You know, this tree is estimated about four to five hundred years. It is not very old than the temple. You know, this you know this tree cannot use to make something because its temple is very soft wood, even charcoal. But you know, it makes amazing and powerful feeling with the temple. You know, the feeling is temple. You know, the King Jaya Varaman the Seven built so many temples, and he also built the hospital as well. You know, the first temple that he built, this, this temple that he was built in 1181, after he was completed this temple, he built this temple in 1186, oh, yeah, 86, and then he built this temple in 1191. After he completed these two tem uh, these three temples, he built this temple is at the last one yeah, that he built for himself. Yeah. This one for his teacher, mother, father. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs>